Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I want to show you today how to make this pretty card. I actually cased this from the catalog, and I'm using the Vine Design Bundle. So there's the Vine Design stamp set, and then there's coordinating dies, and the dies are really pretty. You get this big circle with the flowers, and then you can stamp and cut out flowers, and then you get the rectangle, which is what I use today, and an oval, and then this you can use to um, cut out some of your sentiments. So I want to show you what was in the catalog and what gave me this idea, and I actually, I think I went pretty pretty close to the catalog, so I'm using mint macaron and soft, soft saffron, so saffron, soft saffron, soft sea foam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using mint macaron and soft sea foam, and then I'm using so saffron and calypso coral as well. And I think it's really very delicate and pretty. And um, this is the card. They did congratulations. I used different labels here and did happy birthday, but I will use this long, thin label, and I'm going to do um, a with sympathy card. I don't really have... A lot of congratulation cards that I make so I, I didn't really want to use that sentiment thinking of you would be great as well um, but it's really a pretty set so let's get started I have my pieces cut of course and you know when I first looked at the card I thought wow this is so tiny <laughs> um, to fit on a big card like this and then I realized they actually did two of them side by side and it really takes over the whole card and then I was trying to figure out the flowers and I was playing with colors and stuff and you can stamp and cut the flowers. So I was doing this and I just didn't, you know, it was like, eh, it's okay. Um, didn't really care for it. And then when I look closer at the picture, I realized they put the flowers behind. So that makes a huge difference. So th this was just something I was playing around with before I decided to case the catalog. But see how pretty that is? So what I did was I, I followed suit with their colors, the um, Calypso Coral and the So Saffron. And what you do is you cut out all these little pieces. And what's nice is the smaller ones you get three of these so i can cut three at once so that made it really nice and then you're actually going to adhere them from behind now i decided i didn't need these two flowers because they're covered by the label and actually on this one it covered even a few more but this is a more narrow uh, label so i'm going to just show you how i do this and um I'm putting, and then I'll speed it up a little bit. I'm putting some glue right in the middle here. And I'll just show you. So you put a little dot of glue right in the middle. And I've got a little, little piece hanging off of there. Okay, and then you're going to put your piece over it. And try to line it up. And then if you flip it over, you want to make sure that it's all lined up nicely. Don't worry if you have glue in the middle. But I found this to be the best way to do it. And you just want to get it so that you're not seeing anything in the back. And then you can just keep going. So I'll do two of the yellow ones. And just put a dab right smack in the middle. And we'll put these down and then we'll turn it over and just keep going back and forth with it so that you can see the other side okay just make sure there's nothing hanging over now i did do a second one so we're only going to do one on on film so i do have one already done so this is what it'll look like let me speed it up and i'll finish this one Okay, have one extra, so that looks good. So again, I didn't do these two here because they'll be covered up. And depending on the size of your label, um, you may, you know, again, I didn't need these two with this label. Um, so it's up to you what you do. And 
I'm just gonna let them sit for a minute and let's get the label. So this one, I use the die, this die that comes with this. And then this, they have it in the catalog that you use the uh, stitched rectangle and I use this one and cut this piece of so saffron. So on this birthday card, I use the tasteful label dies. So I use this one for so saffron and this one for Calypso Coral. And the sentiments are from this stamp set. So the inside sentiment for the happy birthday, since they didn't have one, um, I used It's Your Day, and it is from The Happiest of Birthdays. So I thought that was pretty, and I just realized one of my, this came off. So let's put that right back there. So I put pearls in them, which I think really adds to it. So let's get started with this. We are going to do embossing, and we're going to make it a With Sympathy card. So I'm just going to use my embossing buddy. And I will stamp it with Versamark ink. I'm not doing the outline. Because to be honest, it was, I tried to play around with it and it was a little bit difficult to get it all even. Because it's a very tight, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, there's this outline stamp that comes with it, and it's just, just shy of the cutout. And to me, it was too much, but I'll show you in the book if you want to play with it. It really adds to it. It gives you that outline, but to stamp it and cut it, um, you have to be exact, otherwise it all looks crooked. So I am just doing it this way, and I think it'll be fine. I'll put some pearls on the edges and uh, call it a day there. So I'll take my white embossing powder and just go over this. And maybe there's a trick to getting that lined up. I did put post-it note on it and um, it just didn't work for me. So I'll just take a little paintbrush and wipe off the excess here. Okay, I'll put this away. I'm going to be a little bit noisy with my heat tool, so just bear with me. Let me get some tweezers so I don't burn my fingers, and we'll just heat this up quick. Okay, and you can tell that it's all done if it's shiny, and that means it's all been melted in, so that one looks good. And now we can start putting things together. So on this one, I glued it down with my liquid glue and I really tried to go all around the edges and then I can put some right in there <laughs> and that made it easy. So we'll just, I'm gonna start here just to make sure it doesn't blob out there. And I'm just touching, cause you want, you don't want the edges to be kind of sticking up. So you can do a lot in the flowers and then little dots along the edges. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna start over here and put it down. And you want, there'll be a little tiny space top and bottom, but you wanna go right up to the edge on the side so that the other one will fit in. Isn't that pretty? So lacy and delicate, I love it. And now we'll do the same here. Okay, let's put this side down. And you wanna make it even, top to bottom. Now these guys kiss in the middle here. And it should all fit perfectly. Okay. Very pretty. So let's put this down and it will, it's gonna hang over a little bit. So I'm just gonna put the glue, I'm not gonna go all the way out to the edges there. 
I think this is a pretty color combination. It's very soft. And then we took some of the in color ribbon. So this is just jade. And let me just put this away. And I kind of just rolled it. I want to have kind of two loops there. And just kind of play with it. it. Looks a little bulky. Let me just make one loop, one loop and an end. How does that sound? It's a little bit bulky to have it too long. And that gives me two loops again. Let's go a little bit wider. I think that's good. So I'm just going to cut it and play with it a little bit and get it the way I want it. Actually, look at that. Let me do it again. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. I just want it kind of poking out behind. So that looks good. And what I did was I put it down with scotch tape. I like to use scotch tape with ribbon when it's really hidden. And I think I'm going to have this end just coming up. I think that's what's bothering me about it. And we'll just put a little piece of scotch tape right across here. Oh, and you know what? I put them on backwards. Oh, see, I have my red flowers in the middle. All right, <laughs> big mistake. I am going to cut more flowers and see if I can get them underneath. I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut two more of these, and, you know, I leave the mistakes in because I think everybody makes mistakes, and I want you to see that you can recover from them. So let me just cut this off first of all. I cut two more of these flowers and I have this little tool um, that I'm just going to go underneath and I'm going to see if I can just put a little glue dot and make it work. You know, I could just stop and start all over again and, and make a whole new video, but I wouldn't want you to not be able to figure out how to get this to work and that's only if I can get it to work and I'm going to just use my tweezers and try to push it in a little bit move it around do a little surgery here okay I think that will work let's see if we can get the other side done And it's good because the glue hasn't, and I'm going to actually put some on the bottom. I probably should have done it on the other one as well to hold it down to the card. But let's see if I can lift it up. Get it in there. So I really should have looked at it more closely before I put it on to make sure I had the right sides on. 50-50 chance I would have done it right. And I think everybody has those kinds of little mistakes. And with paper crafting, you really can always cover your mistakes pretty easily. All right, nobody will know, <laughs> except for you guys. All right, so we've got our ribbon down. Let's put some dimensionals on it. Well, I have the end, end of a roll here. So let me just use these up. This is a good one to use them up on. You can cut them. I'm just tearing them. All right, so that should work. So let me just take the backs off. I 
gonna just put this on. So this color is just jade, but you know, all the greens is very pretty. The mint macaron, the um, soft sea foam, and then the just jade. I think it's really a pretty look. So the last thing I wanna do is put on my pearls and then we'll do the inside. So there's a lot of pearls and I'm going to put the medium sized ones and I actually, I'm gonna use this end, this works so nice. The medium, so there's a the large, the medium and the small. The medium will go on the Calypso coral flowers because they're a little bit bigger. We're gonna use all sizes on this card. And then we'll use a large one on each end. We'll put it right there. And then these little tiny ones on the little yellow flowers. Even the hidden ones, I'm going to put them on. Okay, I think I got them all. There's quite a few of them. This uh, take your pick, the putty end of it really works because I really struggle with these gems sometimes. So now we want to do the inside. So again, on this one, I put the happy birthday, the inside, uh, it's your day. On this one, since it's sympathy, I will just be um, putting it without a sentiment. I'm just going to do these leaves and I'll do them in the mint macaron. So let me just grab a scrap of paper and we'll ink this up and just go kind of off on the top and the bottom. Ooh, there's a big, big stamp. All right, that looks good. And then let me get my um, stamp and seal and just go across the top and bottom here. You know, I haven't used mint macaron in such a long time and it is a beautiful color perfect for a sympathy card. So these are the two cards. I think they're really pretty. It's a little bit of cutting. What I wanted to just tell you, so when you cut this out, when you run it through your die cutting machine, I usually die cut this way. For this one, it seemed like it cut better and everything just really fell out when I cut it with the plate on top but it facing up and then you could really see and I did run through a couple of times because it's very intricate so that was just a tip I wanted to share with you thanks a lot for joining me and come back for my next video take care bye